face that this world has forgotten. Alright, before we go into this video, of course, spoiler warning. This video is going to contain uh, big spoilers about Ultra Sun and Moon and movesets that are going to be usable in that game. So if you've been successfully staying away from all this spoiler, do not make me ruin that. Stay away from this video and yeah, just in general, do not watch it, is what I'm trying to say. For everybody else who's interested in seeing what new moves are being learned by Pokemon's by through level or egg, let's look at lists. So, yeah, this is a complete list, and I have two sides of this. It should definitely be said before going in there. There are moves here that are missing, that this list is not complete, but it's pretty much, much close to what it's supposed to be, and of course being complete as it is. So, I do believe the things that are missing are that Incineroar gets Power Trip. Gonna cover that a little bit. Power Trip is now a level up move, and that works like stored power. Um, Incinder has dual setup in Sword Stats and Nasty Plot, so it could capitalize on that. And of course, Witness Policy is clearly it's bulky enough to pull something like that off and Flame Charge. So I won't say it's the ideal move, but I do want to mention that to get it. So with that said, let's go over the list as it stands here. Now, all these moves, as stated, are either by level up or egg, and I'm only going to invest time on the Pokemons that I do believe have use of the moves to get. I'm going to mention every one, but I'm not going to stay on every one. So, first and foremost, Olmado gets Bug Bite. Meh. Don't care. Evil Egg, White Guard. Nah. Beware. Bind. Kind of cool. Um, Decidio gets Phantom Force, which is stronger than Spirit Shackle, but definitely not superior to Spirit Shackle, but it does get it. Decidio also gets Leaf Storm, that's a good move. Being able to hit, of course, even harder on a special side of sort of energy ball, so that's going to be helpful towards it. And of course, with Nasty Blood, it can able to actually do a semi sweep with that in mind. Uh, Shadow Sneak is also a move on Decidio that is new this time around. That's going to be helpful, I am pretty sure about that, uh, primarily since it has high attack and not be reliant on Sucker Punch and Shadow Sneak actually do roughly the same amount of damage. So I would say that Shadow Sneak is by far superior to the CGI. Probably will be a UU Ma now for sure due to these capabilities alone. Um, also gets Ominous Wind which I don't necessarily care for. Uh, Dunsparce gets Mud Slap, I don't think that matters. Hypno gets Wake Up Slap over Head Smash. Um, I don't know, might be useful. I guess it's Moses, which still is not the best move around now, is it? Um, in Incineroar gets Double Kick, and I stated, of course, Power Trip. Uh, Yurash gets Lucky Shant, which, yeah, not the best. Jump Pluff gets Absorb, and yeah, I don't know why. Um, I also heard they get Strength Sap, that's not here on the list, so keep that in mind. They actually get Strength Sap too, which could be very useful with it, though it has already Cutting Guard, so what do I know what's best for it? Um, Kamo gets close combat. Now, we already actually saw on my previous video that it got Dream Punch and Superpower. Uh, I think close combat is good towards it. It's definitely a stronger stab. Uh, it can definitely work really, really well with the likes of, uh, of course, Dragon Dance. That said, though, I think Dream Punch is going to be the more reliable move towards it, but close combat does make it stronger, a lot stronger as a Dragon Dance or possible Sweeper. So, well, the set of Sweeper, that is. So, I'm looking forward to see that in action. Uh, Noble Roar Curum. That's not a bad thing. Um, it's definitely not worse. Uh, I don't think it's going to get much use out of it, but it's definitely good on it. Uh, Lantern Spotlight, meh. Lurantis, Night Slash, meh. Uh, Necrozma gets Bhutan Geyser. And I guess we're going to find out more about what that move is on the game itself. Right now, I do believe that's a new move completely. Polska gets Aqua Ring. Alright. Uh, Primarina gets Ice Wind. It also got it on um, uh, as a tutor move, so not necessarily the best thing around there. Uh, Retroram got Noble Roar. Don't know how that's going to affect the Nubers. Uh, Tauros Double Edge. Meh. I mean, it gets it naturally from Gen 1, so I guess it makes sense to some extent. Serena, though. Got both Punishment and Power Whip. Power Whip is clearly something severely needed. Uh, tear Kick or, or just, you know, Tear Drop Kick or whatever is not a bad move, but definitely doesn't hurt as much as a possible Power Whip will do. So I think Zarina's viability kind of cramped up and got a lot better 
just by death move alone actually, which is kind of cool. Really cool actually. Aubra got Psychic Train, that could be useful. Um, Amipon got Tail Slap, which will make the T, what do you call it? The skill link ability more viable towards it. I had actually no idea I didn't get it, so that's kind of cool. Blossom got Strength Sap, great. Bidoof gets Mud Sport, hmm. Blitz will get Faint. I do believe it works like priority, so it's not the worst move, though it also already have already quick attack. Buffalon gets Cutting Guard, dear lord. Um, Void still gets Helping Hand, meh. Carnivine will get Acid Spray. Um, could be useful for Mega Sharpedo, I guess, if you want to go special. Um, Sharubi gets Grassy Drain, that's always helpful. Crafty Shield on Shimenko, Parish Song on Shimenko, really cool, both of them. And Mrs. Drain on Katuni, and of course with Prankster, that could be good. Cubone learns Curse, so this means that regular Marabag, I think, already gets Curse, it doesn't necessarily matter, but Alolan Form can capitalize on Curse, which is always going to be great in that extent. Cutify gets Powder. Cutify also gets Stick Web, making it the fastest Stick Web Stick Web in the game now, I do believe, with um, Ribombi being 114, I believe, speed or something like that. Very high. Uh, Daramaki gets Extra Sensory. Yeah, no. DNA gets Tearful Look, which worked like Normal Roar and lower uh, attack and special attack by one stage. That's quite right. The Deerling gets Headbutt. And this is cool because this means you know, this Ringraze variant is now more viable. Um, Dano gets Belch, uh, which could be great for C move Belch, that is. Um, Delibro gets Counter, okay. Jupiter gets uh, Stick Web, so making Araquanid a Stick Web now. I don't think it's going to help that Pokemon that much, but at least it got it. Power Split on Drowsy and Psychic Drain on Drowsy. Ducklet gets Awkward Jet, that's going to be great. Mainly because Ducklet actually can now be physical due to getting liquidation and awkward jet. Though clearly the special set is better in than the physical set, but it can now do both fairly enough. Then we have Farfetch, which really got really cool. Now first impression, that's cool. I mean, it's possibly stronger than Glycopod now with the stick uh, item double its attack. So yeah, that's gonna be great. Final Gambit, I don't know, maybe. Fennekin is side train, doesn't matter. Uh, Finion gets Fusion Ray, meh. Terrible look on Flebebe, Psychic Train and Psychic Fangs on Yurafarig. That guy, that Pokemon really gets no love. Halucha gets faint, that's not gonna matter towards it. Hoot Hoot gets Mean Look and Hurricane. Hurricane is definitely needed with Tintaland, so that's cool. Hop Up gets Strength Zap, alright. Jump Plop gets up, so okay, I, I see, so okay, I, I'm with you. Illumise gets an Aromatherapy, so Prankster, Aromatherapy, God Swap on Inkei, Jolt gets Lunch, that's not gonna help it, Venom Drench on Coughing, meh, Ladybug gets Endure Encounter, Counter Counter, uh, Lickitung gets uh, Frash, Lydon gets Fire Trip, there it is, alright, I, I, that's the baby stage gets something else, I, I see, Mantine gets Amnesia, I already got that, as an egg move. I might be wrong about that. Um, Minum gets Tearful Look, Murkrow gets Punishment, Numel gets Heavy Slam, and Oddish gets Strength Zap, and that's going to be huge towards it. That's a Pokemon who can literally go specially defensive and use Strength Zap to just pivot and just bulk itself up. So, just looking forward to that. I think Vaplon got a lot better with this in mind. And now to the last page, which will cover the last Pokemon, clearly. Uh, Onyx gets a White Guard, meh. Osho wants to get Sacred Sword. Eee, he gets Super Power also, so it's not the best move, but it did get it at least. It gets some filler moves. Uh, Petrisha gets a Baby Doll Eyes. Yeah, VGC, I remember that. Um, Pensage gets Bow... No, Pensage gets Spike Shield. That's going to be great towards it. Pensage gets Bow Belch of Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz, probably the one standing out there, since it's going to help the quite a lot. Uh, tearful look from Petrat and Bullet Seed and Paris gets Grassy Drain. Uh, Petili gets Encore. Fanfi gets High Horse Power, though I believe Earthquake is superior, better. Piplup gets Power Trip. That's weird. Though it gets also competitive, no Defiant. So it has a reason to capitalize on it if you ask me. Uh, tearful look on Plusle. Punita gets High Horse Power. Vastly superior, if you ask me. Mainly because high horsepower is 95 by its power from correctly, so it's better than Drill Run making Punita or 
of course a rapid dash way better than it was before uh, Pumpkaboo gets curse thought it got that so I was surprised to see that Pugamuku gets spite so it can now stall even worse dear lord uh, Rylo gets meter match which will make Lucario vastly superior uh, I believe it only has bullet punch as it's only necessarily viable steel move it doesn't get iron head which is what I feel is really surprising so meter match is definitely gonna push Rylo or primarily Lucario probably over the edge if you ask me uh, Roselia gets power trip uh, on a power whip and eh, kind of neutral to that Sanigas gets curse at the same time I really thought it had that so very surprised Scrappy gets acid spray meh Baby Doll Eyes on Centret could be useful. Seawaddle gets Grassy Train. Meh. Uh, Shelmet gets uh, Toxic Spikes. Meh. Yeah, I do believe uh, Shelmet, or I'm, I do believe Accelerate has Toxic Spikes, so I guess it's fair to see Shelmet as a possibly Violet Mon. It's fairly bulky, so I don't think it's out of question to capitalize on. Skittle gets Grassy Train. Um, I mean, bulk up is still better, but it's basically people are talking about the Grass Pelt variant towards Skiddo can be more useful now, if you ask me. It, it won't be. Um, like I said, bulk up is vastly superior here, even with the passive recovery in mind. Spinock gets a lunch. Um, it's not going to be helpful towards it, but it did get it. And like I said before in my previous video, it will get Stomping Tantrum, so that's going to be probably the coolest thing about it. And on the last side, we have Spirit Tomb gets disabled. Really folly got that too, so that's fairly cool. Spirit C gets a nasty plot, that's not gonna be annoying. Swablu gets Plague Rough, which will mean that if you don't want to capitalize on Pixelate with Alteria, which I, for life of me can't understand why it wouldn't, but you can be capitalizing now on Plague Rough instead. Don't do that. Um, as well, it's at Stick Web. That's strange. I definitely won't believe I will see a slope up getting capitalized on its stick web capabilities. It could probably work, but I definitely would recommend it. Uh, Tanjala gets wake up slap. Kind of neutral about this. It is a finding move, so it's not completely out of question. And it does get sleep powder, so there are some aspects to it that could be interesting. But yeah, not think. I don't think it's going to be the you know the game changer. Uh, TP gets burn up. That's going to be a good thing, I think. Um, it would turn into a soul fighting type, so it's a good defensive response. A and also, of course, you can go mixed, which means the burn up will be a special hit, and then the rest will be oriented towards being fine and stab or whatnot. Uh, Tropius gets Dragon Hammer. Uh, that, they really need to fix that mod. But at least it got something new, just unfortunately, it's uh, nothing great, really. Trubbish gets a Tornomice, which is awesome. Uh, Turtwig gets Heavy Slam. Typhole gets Venom Drench. Meh. Volbeat gets Lunge. Wishmer gets Whirlwind. Wishwashi gets Whirlpool. Jamask gets Crafted Shield. Young Goose will get Fire, Ice, and Thunder Fang. And that's cool. Uh, mainly because it has, of course, as uh, I said in another video, it does have Strong Jaw. But it doesn't have too many moves to capitalize on strong go. So at least now it can do that. It still lack lustring Pokemon in the higher meta, but in PU that will be interesting. Ice Fang, here we go. Um Sangus gets Belladrum. That's cool. I like that. I think the poison uh, boost variant is still the vastly superior. Uh, it doesn't need any boost for Belladrum, you know, it, it's always relevant to some extent. Uh Sixagoon gets extreme speed. Uh, it had that before, but as an event move, it's now a breedable move, making Sixagoon more dangerous and nicknameable for real, if you're going to be legit, that is. But, um, yeah, I think it's going to be helpful. Um, not the biggest changes here. The, the biggest one, I think, are, um, you know, the high horsepower Ponita, uh, Rylo getting meter mash, and uh, I definitely like the stick web variants here. But all in all, I don't think these changes are too severe, but at the same time, they're going to affect the meta. The, the question is how it's going to, and I'm really looking forward to see everything like, like Spirit for example, getting Nasty Plot and Trick Room. It could be the new BHM or Uniclus. It has the ability to pulling that off now. It, it had a call mine before, but now it can focus on out damage output. Yeah, that's going to be great. 
But yeah, I really hope you guys got some clarity on what new moves certain Pokemon gets for level up an egg. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, that's all I want to cover. I really hope you enjoy this series of a video. I won't make any more videos about Ultra Sun and Moon till the game is out. And I don't think there's anything more I could cover. Possible new items, if there are any, that is. So yeah, as always, guys, thank you for, of course, watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, of course, as always, take care. Bye.